Hi guys, we're going to have a look at 5e now. This is uh, piecewise or hybrid functions. We call them hybrid functions in Australia, but in America they call them piecewise functions because they're like sort of pieced together um, in bits. So uh, the calculator knows them as piecewise functions, so you need to recognise that that's the terminology used for that. Okay, I think we'll get underway. Okay, um, hybrid or piecewise functions. So these functions are called piecewise functions of the case handheld, which I've just been explaining to you in just a moment. For example, if we had some uh, f of x was, it was equal to 2, where x is less than minus 1, or it's equal to x squared plus 1, when x is greater than or equal to minus 1, and at the same time is less than plus 1, or it's equal to x minus x plus 3, where x is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so this is what this funny looking thing looks like. That's a continuous piecewise function. So this is the first bit, the x equals 2, this is the x squared plus 1 bit, and this is the minus x plus 3 bit. Okay, if you were to do that on your CAS calculator. Okay, this is a continuous function. Now, the good news for you is that the handheld then treats the hybrid seamlessly with any calculator steps involving it, even though it is a hybrid of a number of separate functions piecewise together. Okay, but the calculator, it'll work it out if you went um, f of 0, for example, it'll know that this is the bit of the graph which is appropriate for that value of x. It sort of knows all that and it works it all out seamlessly. You don't have to do it. It's pretty good, isn't it? So uh, you, you want to make sure that there is no ambiguity from your point of view in the way you're defining this function as to the points on the boundary between adjacent hybrid sections. Each x value can have only one y value, okay? If it's a uh, if it's a function that is, and it is a hybrid function. So make sure you're a bit careful with your housekeeping. Um, see here, I've said x is, uh, well for x is less than minus 1, but where x is actually equal to minus 1, it's actually this bit here, x squared plus 1. It belongs to that part of the hybrid function, okay? So then I've gone along there to less than 1, but then for 1 and above, then the function is this bit, okay? So that's what I'm trying to say there. For discontinuous adjacent hybrid sections, be especially careful to use open and closed dots where appropriate to specify the coordinates properly, guys. Okay, it's very important. Now, this is how you do it on your CAS. I'm going to show you this in a moment. Uh, you hit, um, you can either just hit this button here, or if you want to hit the catalog and then go tab 5, See that thing there? That's a three-way piecewise function. If you just double-click on that, what you will get is, oh, this screen here. It'll say, how many function, how many um, number of function pieces do you want? Well, we want three in this instance, okay? Then you'll get that little thing come up on your screen. You can fill it in and then define it as whatever you like, as whatever function you like, okay? So that's how it goes. Now, this one here, is an example of a discontinuous hybrid or piecewise function. So we've got y is equal to 2, in this case where x is less than minus 1, it's equal to x squared, where x is greater than or equal to minus 1, but at the same time less than plus 1, and it's minus x plus 3 for x is greater than or equal to 1. Now, what I said there a moment ago is you, you want to be very careful with your open and closed dots when representing the hybrid discontinuous functions, okay? So, use open and closed dots at the points of discontinuity to make it clear which x and y coordinates are defined at the boundary points, okay? So, for that bit there, uh, where y equals 2 for x is less than minus 1, you need an open dot there. That's supposed to be an open dot, okay? And this for this bit here, where y is x squared, uh, for x is greater than or equal to minus 1, note the closed dot. And then less than 1, you would need an open dot there, okay? You see? And then for the third bit, uh, 
where y is minus x plus 3, 4, x is greater than or equal to 1, you'd need a closed dot on that thing. Look, see, I just made you a smiley face. Aren't you happy? See? Very nice. So that's the end of this. Now, they're, they're tedious and annoying, but, you know, you can still do them. It's, it's not no real problem. So if I um, was to get my trusty calculator, wait till I just fix this up a bit. This is my calculator emulator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the piecewise function template. So I'm over here. Can you see there? I'm going to press that and I'm going to select that beastie there like that. And it says, oh, how many function pieces? Well, I want three, please, Mr. Calculator. Now I'm going to put in my hybrid function. So it was two for this bit here for now that was x was less than minus one so i'm just going to go here x is then control equals that's the less than tool and i'm going to go negative one okay then i go in for the next bit it was x squared so i just go x squared and i click over into the domain bit so that's uh, negative one is less than or equal to control equals less than or equal to x and at the same time it's less than one so control equals and i go less than one okay you want to do this uh, with me perhaps um, or pause me and catch up and then keep going with me because you need to know how to do this cas stuff you absolutely do um, okay minus x plus three for the next bit so it's minus x plus 3 and that was for x is greater than or equal to 1 so I'll put in there so I've got x is greater than or equal to 1 okay now what I'm going to do is go outside that thing and I'm going to define that as f1 of x so I'll go control var then I'll just write f1 of x okay so there's that f one bracket x okay and then i just hit enter it's done it's beautiful now if you wanted to go into var you'll see that that's there see it is there that's very nice now what we're going to do now is go over the page and we'll get a graph screen happening here so i need to go control insert control insert there we go add graphs okay ah look at that now i'm going to go up one that's f2 of x I'll go up one, F1 of X, and there it is. There's the one that I just defined. And I'm going to hit enter. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Uh, except it's not really a proper smiley face because the calculator doesn't do open and close dots. So, but you need to do them. There should have been an open dot uh, on the end of this one, a closed dot there, and then an open dot there, and then a closed dot there. Okay? So practice with your piecewise functions and have some fun with this exercise. All right, everybody, that was good, wasn't it? Okay, see you soon. Go forth and do your practice.